Out of some big domestic decisions, Barack Obama's preparing for foreign policy talks as Afghan President Hamid Karzai is due to arrive in Washington Friday. The U.S. military strategies in Afghanistan are topping the agenda. Let's find out what to expect. Cross live now to Patricia DiGennaro, a young professor of the uh, Department of Politics at New York University. Hi there, Patricia. Morning. Um, Karzai's Hi. visit comes days after Obama picked so-called pacifist Chuck Hagel as the Pentagon's chief. What does the Afghan president hope to achieve, then, do you think, here? Well, I think he probably hopes to achieve a few things. One is continued military support uh, for the Afghan troops so they can maintain their, their own military or army, if you will. And the second is con probably continued um, uh, monetary support and some development efforts there. And should we expect changes in the U.S. policy in Afghanistan anytime soon, especially, of course, when it comes to the number of troops left there after that pullout in 2014? I don't think so. You'll probably, you know, um, it's quite up in the air right now, though. I mean, there's a lot of talk about not leaving any troops there at all. However, I don't think the U.S. can afford that, and neither can the region, because there's still quite a bit of violence going on, on there. So I think the president will probably leave some troops there for some time. But um, I would assume that President Karzai is going to want them out, because it gives him more, uh, more it makes him him look more powerful on the negotiating table and within the context of his own constituency. However, he also needs some protection. So it'll be a little bit of a, a catch-22 situation for them. And Patricia, as we're heading into 2013, word on everyone's lips, drones, uh, one of the crucial hurdles between Washington and Afghanistan, drone strikes. They seem to be off the agenda, though, at this upcoming meeting. Why is that? Well, I think it's more, they're more relevant in the Pakistani U.S. relationship because most of the drones are bombing the areas in Pakistan and Waziristan and that area, um, the tribal areas. So it's really that antagonizing that relationship. It probably will come up because if, if President Karzai, you know, in the back room, so to speak, because if President Karzai expects to get a more cooperative and stronger relationship with Pakistan instead of antagonistic, um, that's probably going to be one of the talking points that's going to help him win more support from Pakistan instead of supporting the Taliban so much. Well, Afghanistan Taliban peace talks are on the agenda, but Karzai is also going to the U.S. with a big military shopping list, including helicopters and other advanced yes. equipment. What's he really up to, do you think? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's like every other, you know, country that they, they, you know, they want the U.S. to support their military arsenal when, I mean, really, the, the, the challenge is to get their economy working and to get a political structure or a, a, a civil society structure in place. So these are the challenges, and this is what's going to have to happen um, as far as that's concerned. Patricia, we'll let you go take that call. Thank you for... Uh... <laughs> I apologize for that. Uh, it happens. Trying... Patricia DiGiaro, uh, thanks very much for being on the program tonight.